this is uh, the call, a call I must take. Eric the Midget. Hello, Eric. This guy, he did his American Idol show last night. By the way, the American Idol was two hours last night. I thought they were finished with the auditions. Am I? No, they're done with the auditions, and now they're narrowing it down to 24 people. Oh. <clears throat> and Eric did his show last night. Let me see if I can find this, because J.D. said, he begged me. He said, please, Howard, can I come in today? If Eric calls in and beg you that I never have to listen to Eric's show again. He really? says, I cannot take it. <laughs> he said, I fell asleep during during listening to it twice. JD, go ahead, make your plea. Dude, I I I had to stand up to edit it so I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> really? Um, yes. Eric, the show was as bad as I don't know if you want to call it bad or good. Well, what is it that bores you? Is it the not being able to understand it's, what's being oh, said? Th that, and it's it's the same thing. It's 90% Q&A for Eric, and I don't care about Eric's life or anything whatsoever. <laughs> and the other 10% is, eh, this guy's doing good. Eh, this guy's not doing good. That's it. That's the show. <laughs> <laughs> and then two other annoying people that I, I don't even know, just yapping. Yeah, there are two new sidekicks. <laughs> really? There, there are two guys, is that chick and Eric, all on at the same time. Wait, wait. And Eric's the only one you well, can't understand. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Where in the world do you hear the other guy? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm There's only it. one other guy. But oh, it's one yeah, guy? Yeah. Okay. It's one other guy. <laughs> Um, is it true there's a new guy in the show? Yes, it's our tech person. I see. He, he's been given a microphone. Well, I, All I, of a sudden, he's chiming in. Oh, he's I would fire in, right. that tech guy because apparently you still are the only person that can't be heard on the show. Everybody else can be heard. You know, he, he was listening to your show yesterday. You guys have been doing your show for two years, plus more at your regular radio. And he heard problems with your show. Eric, you are unintelligible. <laughs> You, you, you literally can't. I'm going to play you some of your show, and you tell me if this sounds right to you. Why is your argument that our show is messed up? Yeah, you still should be concerned about your show being technically I mean, messed up. We do up. have technical problems, but people could always hear us. All right, here you go. Here's Eric from the incredible All right, let's listen. Idol Commentary Show. Oh, <laughs> 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 you guys, uh, Eric doesn't, right doesn't do the F. Mary kills. Is that, just so you know. Is that the, is that the girl with the pageant contestant? <laughs> I find her lack of tears dis disappointing. Nobody's breaking down any tears and crying. I know, I know. Gina does have her own show coming up. It's called Ladies Night. It'll be... See how the tech guy now is taking over? And he... he's talking over Eric. Eric's trying to croak something out. Yeah, Eric's like... Ur, 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 in the background while the tech guy gets... Like, he, he's, he's, he's perfectly heard. You hear the tech guy speaking, and then you hear Eric in the background... Ur, 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 ur. It's <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part, Eric. Like, you can't be heard, but <laughs> he gets no respect, this kid. Uh, it's your show. No. <laughs> Did you say, you know, because the show is so garbled, it's hard to understand what you said. Is there anything you can remember that was memorable that you said last night uh, that we couldn't hear? I bought a Japanese male gymnast. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what else did you say that was memorable? I could beat your cock better than anyone. All right. Wow. <laughs> You said that, Eric? No. What's <laughs> getting into him? Man. Of course you don't like cock. I do actually like a long cock. Oh. oh. Stop arguing with him. He likes cock. <laughs> Eric, you don't like cock. Clear that up. I fuck cock better than anyone. What are you saying? You're gay? I'm not gay. I'm bi. You're bi. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> I know. We're just teasing you. So what else did we hear on the show last night? I mean, was there other, are there other highlights? <laughs> yeah, give me your, your best quote from last night's show. Push your cock in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so defeated. <laughs> Eric, do you understand what I'm talking about? All jokes aside, do you understand what I'm saying? You can't be heard on your own show. Uh, it's as if I was doing the show and everyone on the show could be heard but me. It's the Eric show, and Eric is the one that's unintelligible. No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you listening to these clips? Did you hear the clip? that I played? I'm not doctoring that. Okay, maybe I doctored all those little funny gay things, but I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not sitting and doctoring this. Well, I don't quite believe that. Well, <laughs> I, I swear it's the truth. Just like Kendra. For, from now on, we send you the clips. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would actually like that more, so yeah, I have to me. listen to it. Okay, okay here's another clip. Uh, you tell me <laughs> if you think this is a good quality. Oh, here we go. The girl from um, Portland that auditioned in Philly. <laughs> oh, okay, brother. Good well. Wow. You don't even know what you said. What did you just say, Eric? <laughs> I can't tell. Right. <laughs> you can't. No one can tell. Eric, it's it's it, they're, they're, they've got to get that worked out. This is not right. Right. I believe you have found my new favorite for the season. Listen to this guy. This yeah, is the tech guy. Yeah, he's as clear as a bell. Yeah. Everyone else is fine. That doesn't bother you at all. No. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, that's that's incredible. I don't know. I'm thinking a gay version of Ruben. Well, there it is. Here's Eric's show from All last right. night. Uh, what is this? Eric, the idol commentary guy, says he is not leaving his girlfriend, Kendra. Yeah. This is one of those Q&A questions. Yeah, he gets Q&A during the commercials. Oh, my God. That, that's all the show. It's even during the show. But, I mean, it's, oh, it's about Eric. Uh, it's boring. Eric, <laughs> Eric enjoys answering questions about himself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're saying nobody cares what Eric's answers are? Uh, I don't. <laughs> Everybody in the room wanted to know what you thought of Howard's quest to find you a, another girlfriend. <laughs> um... Not interested. Like I said this morning, not interested. You know, I was thinking about this girl, Kendra. Uh huh. She's like the meanest person I have ever uh, <laughs> thought about. Why do you say no, that? No, she's not. I started getting really angry with her. Mm -hmm. Like, she's leading Eric on. No, she's not. She's Wait a minute, pretending. Eric. This is my feeling. If she was really into you. Know you what? This is what I think of your feeling. Go shut up your ass. Oh, he's uh, hanging up ooh, on us. Ooh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> he hung up on me. He can't even hang up. <laughs> <laughs> can't have a discussion with this guy. I know. This is my feeling. I don't think she should... I think she should either go visit him or he should go visit her right. and see if there's any real feelings there or stop with this girlfriend stuff. So we can find him a girl because he's... I would like to put her on a lie detector and ask her if she's in love with Eric. Yeah, he's sitting there waiting for her like she's for real. If her feelings are real, fine. But if not, I say that's the meanest thing you could do. So you think she's a cruel... Well, if she's, if she's playing a game with him, you know, which I suspect only because she has never met him... And isn't anxious to meet him. It doesn't seem like she is. You know, I guarantee if Johnny Depp was emailing her mm. and said, listen, I need to be with you, I have a feeling she'd be on the next plane to see him. Well, the, the problem is, you know, if Johnny Frotto has a job, she's there. Yeah. She can get places. And I know I've spoken to Kendra on the phone, and she assures me that she's in love with Eric, but... I don't buy it. You know, this, this, uh, this has been going on a month, and she's never even met him. She got to Johnny Frotto's house. <laughs> yeah, somehow she gets to Johnny's house. Yeah, she can always get there. But Jimmy Kimmel wrote me an Eric. email. Jimmy Kimmel wrote me an email and said he would pay. He's like, well, what did he say? He's, he's, he loves Eric. Eric's his favorite part right. of the show. <laughs> and he goes, hold on. I don't even know if I printed it out, honestly. You know, I get so many emails, I don't know. 
but he was saying something to the effect that he goes, listen, I will fly Kendra or Eric. He says, I don't care. He'll make it happen. Right. He goes, I got it. He says, I got to get those two together. <laughs> That's what he thinks. Well, Eric's not on the phone for us to offer that uh, opportunity to. Jimmy also can't believe the uh, new Ricky man. Oh, really? Yeah, he thinks Ricky man is, is even more insane than Scores man. I mean, Ricky man... Do you man... think that... I was thinking about this the other day. I think that we're seeing a man go through a midlife crisis, and very badly. <laughs> Scores man got a tattoo! Ricky man... Is, should we have an intervention with Ricky man? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's funny with Ricky man, because I was saying, you know, his powers have increased since he became Ricky man and dropped the Scores man thing. And his powers are so strong, I said, maybe it should be Fartman versus... Rick. Maybe Fartman has to get Ricky Man in line. Oh. And we'll have a Fartman versus Ricky Man cartoon. It's a job for Fartman? That's right. <laughs> I need to speak to Ricky Man. I'm Fartman. Oh, shut up, asshole. Hey, do you realize my powers are stronger than yours? Jerk off. What do you know? I know about being a superhero. I've been a superhero for many, many years. I come from the planet Farton. Oh, shut up, asswipe. Who are you calling asswipe? Take this. Oh, shut up, asshole. How's that? Petcock. What? Petcock. Who are you calling a petcock? Petcock. Man, have you lost your powers? You don't seem to be having an effect on Ricky Man. I don't know. He Fucking doesn't. Fucking instigating motherfucker. Who, me or Robin? Fucking instigating motherfucker. <laughs> Take that, Ricky Man. Oh, shut up, asshole. <laughs> He's tough. He's tough. I think, yeah, you're going to be blasting away all day to get to him. Yeah, he's worse than when I took on the Iranian embassy. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so you want to hear any more Eric the Midget show? He hung up. He was angry. One more clip. Let me hear. I mean, there must have been something to listen to last night. Hey, uh, J.D., what's the best Eric the Midget? Well, we didn't finish. He's not leaving Kendra. What's the best clip to play? Or have we played him already? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was say, I'm just looking at an email that, that Eric sent me late yesterday. <laughs> he wanted us to know that he was going to visit Kendra this weekend, but his roommate couldn't give him a ride. So they're, oh. they're close to getting together. Sure. His roommate fully on his plans. Hey, wait, Eric's back on the phone. What is it? Eric, what do you want to say? Push your cock in my asshole. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> Eric hates, Eric hates when we edit up his voice I know. and have him say weird shit. But anyway, uh, I like, you know what? Eric doesn't understand this, but I like Eric a lot. And I, I admire, I told you, his lust for life, and, and I understand his need for a girlfriend, and I would like to help him get a real girlfriend. But I, and I'm just making this statement. I do not believe that Kendra, this is my feeling, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but if Kendra, I would like to see him and Kendra get together. So if he actually gets down there, what is it? It's going to just be terribly disappointing for I think him? It, they're going to be friends, and it's going to be arranged, and there's going to be a lot of people around. You think she'll even... Maybe she could play it off and, you know, just say, well, you know, I'd like to take things slowly and just give him a kiss on the cheek or something. And yeah. yeah. String yeah. him along for a while. Yeah, yeah. All right, wait, is there any other clips? <laughs> Should I finish this, Eric, uh, discussing Kendra? Uh, you can. I mean, All right. I even labeled a clip boring clip because it was so boring. <laughs> so everybody in the room. J.D.'s thinking of quitting just because he can't stand <laughs> listening to these. I am. Everybody in the room wanted to know. What you thought of Howard's quest to find you a, another girlfriend? Um, not interested. Like I said this morning, not interested. AA wants to know if you like dogs. I don't have. Well, 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 well. Yes, I do. I wanted someone type that Kendra is a baby. Don't ever leave her. She doesn't have to worry about that. Oh. Oh. I don't have any intention of that. <laughs> He's wow. never going to leave her. He's never even seen her. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to admit right up front, I'm about to do the wrongest thing I've ever done. So, Eric, you're about to hang <laughs> up on me if he's still on. I, uh, I somehow uh, got the... Eric is sending, you know, Kendra that rose. Hmm. Somebody had uh, given me the message that he's sending her. Oh. oh. Oh, that's personal. You can't do that. You sure? Yeah. Eric. Yeah, it's his letter. How did you get what Eric is sending? I don't know. I mean, it was emailed to me. Like, somebody sends it to me, but I know it's, I know it's real. You well, know, it's Eric, being... tell us if this is real, okay? Someone's claiming right. this is the message you're sending to Kendra, okay? Right. All right. Go ahead. This rose is a symbol of the fact that it symbolizes that my heart is pure, like the gold on the rose. You are as beautiful as the rose. Is that the message, or is that made up? No, that's the message. I don't, don't know how you got it, but that's exactly what the card read. Wow. Well, that has Read to that to me again. It's really not, it's a a it's not a great message. It's Shakespeare. This rose is a symbol of the fact that it symbolizes that my heart is pure like the gold on the rose. Not to be right. critical, but why use the word symbol twice? In other words... Symbol and symbolize. Right. <laughs> I, I had just woke up when I called them... That's why I wasn't completely fully awake yet. Eric, can I just tell you something? You of all people have the one thing that you have that none of us have is time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you could write this message all day. Uh, what's the next line? What's the next line? I butt fuck Japanese male gymnast. <laughs> That's the next line? I butt fuck male Japanese gymnast? Pretty strong. No. You are as beautiful as the rose. And that's it. You could have done better, Eric. I was trying to think quick and trying to think short because I didn't know how much space the card was allowing. But, Eric, why think quick? You've got really all day. <laughs> why didn't you call prepared? Chick's probably saying to herself, I'm not spreading my legs for that message. Eric, why are you breathing so heavy? I'm fucking annoyed at your ass. Oh. <laughs> Do not even call her a mean girl. She's well, not. Uh, you know what, Eric? Honestly, I don't know her really well. I've spoken to her once. That's why you shouldn't call her that. I, you have actions, right to. actions speak louder than words. I have spoke to her. She's nothing but sweet. No. Every time I talk to her. Well, then why doesn't she visit you? If you were Brad Pitt, I guarantee oh. you she'd be on the first fucking plane. Timing and also money. You forget, dumbass. It may not cost you much to travel. I said we, Jimmy Kimmel said he'd pay for it. Jimmy Kimmel. have huge ass bank accounts. Jimmy Kimmel said he'd pay for it. Now what's the excuse? Can we arrange it? Of course not. But no, I, because, no, that's not because me. we want you to stay the fuck out of it. Oh, well, I'm not going to be there. Yeah, just, but no, knowing you, you would send either Steve Lankford or the Howard no, TV crew. No, I won't. No, we just want Jimmy, you know, to hook you guys up with Jimmy. Ken I don't know who wants to go where. Do you want to go to her? Yeah, what do you want? Let's get this going. Let's prove this once and for all. Prove me wrong. For her to come here would be... Assuming that would be nice. All right, so you want her to come to you. And you promise you won't lock her in the house and keep her there against her will? I promise it's not even going to happen. Well, I can assure you it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to Jimmy. Jimmy says he's going to fly her there. Now, what will her excuse be? How will she get out of this? She'll get out of it. And I guarantee you there ain't going to be any romance. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't like this. I want to get you a real girl. You don't, you don't realize it. She is a real girlfriend. Stop saying she's not. Eric, a real girlfriend has sex with you. She finds a way to get to you. Right. Come on. You know that. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying it to be nice. Now, uh, do you two talk on the phone every day? Either by text message or calling each other, yes. If you find out she was just pretending, would that be mean? 
What? I didn't catch that. If you find out she's just pretending to be your girlfriend, would that be me? Yes, it would, but that's right. not the case. Okay. Well, we'll find out, won't we, now that... I just want to make sure you're not being used, that's all. I'm not! All right, we'll see. Well, we, we, we can reserve judgment. <laughs> what? I said, Johnny is such a good friend to me. Johnny would not allow that to happen to me. All right. Okay. I don't, I don't, think, Johnny, I don't think Johnny has any control over this. You know, I just don't. Johnny might be thinking, you know, you, you just need the fantasy. Right. You need a foot up your ass. <laughs> Shut up. Did you say I need a foot up my ass? Wow. <laughs> you do. He's right. Oh, my goodness. Like I said before, keep your cackling ass out of it. Do you well, like, are hey, you do... going to apologize when this all comes to light mm. that it is fake? I hope so. When she breaks your heart. You know what? You don't even have to apologize because... Uh, you know, if I'm right, I don't even need an apology. I'm not talking about me. Oh, oh you. Oh. <laughs> hey, do you like long cock? I do actually like a long cock. <laughs> oh, I, no, I don't. What? No, I don't. Oh, you don't. All right. You like short cock? Neither. Do you like to beat cock? I could beat your cock better than anyone. Eric, you're actually telling me if we found a girl for you in your area who could visit you every day, wanted to spend time with you all day, you would reject her for Kendra. Exactly. Oh, that's crazy. Well, all right. No, like I, I told you that last night, that there isn't anyone that you could find that would get me to stop being with her. You're not with her. Well, stop liking her then, okay? Okay. Whatever. You like her. You know what? I like Pam Anderson, but she ain't here. <laughs> so I'm with Beth. I got a girl in my room. A bird in the hand, as they yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my dad likes, uh, who is that blonde he always liked? Oh, God. Mamie Van Doren? Yeah, you know, remember that <laughs> one that used to do our show? Oh, oh, yeah, Sally Kirkland. <coughs> Sally Kirkland. Oh. My dad likes Sally Kirkland, but guess what? The only one in his room is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you get my drift? Stop breathing like that. Jesus Christ, what are you, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I think you're getting hot for me. You want me to do something to you? Push your cock in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I care about you, and maybe you don't see it, but I'm just saying... Prove it. Stay the fuck out of it from now on. No, I'm going to get Jimmy to fly her out to you. If she'll come. She will. She said that she really wanted to. She doesn't even know what it's like to live with you. She's never even been in a room with you. What? She doesn't even know what your best quality is. Does. No, she does. She doesn't what know you. What is your you. best quality? I know you better than she does. The way I treat her. You, you're on the phone with her. That's different. Yes, but you got to live I'm, with the girl. I'm always completely sweet with her and everything. Yeah, I know. Of course you are. You're trying to get her to your house. What? What? Has she ever said what turns her on about you? that I treat her. I see. And what, does she say what she'd like to do to you? No, that's never come up. She's never once had sexy talk with you? No. no never said up. she can't. She's aching for your touch. No. What does that tell you? Aren't you aching for hers? Do you say sweet things to her? Not like that. Oh. Uh, the most I say is that I like to... Give her a hug or a kiss. That's it. Mm -hmm. You never say you want to put your cock in her ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's kind of all right, Eric. Listen, Wait I wish a minute. you the best. When you say I would like to give you a hug or a kiss, what does she say back? She can't. Uh, she hung up the phone. <laughs> no, she likes that. She likes she... it. She thinks that's cute.
All right, listen, Eric, I wish you the best with your girlfriend who you've never met. Your and, imaginary uh, girlfriend. And shut up, Robin. Um, by the way, the problem with the show is I need a new mic. All right, well, then good luck to you. I, well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't Everybody know. else has a good working yeah, mic but uh, you. Everyone has a mic on that show that can be heard except you. I mean, really, what is that? That's crazy. You're the star of the show, and you have the worst mic. I mean, I mean, come on. What? what I'm, I'm an asshole now too for that saying that. I don't know mainly your asshole for the stuff that you're saying about Kendra. I'm just saying I don't believe that she's in love with you. That's it. I think she's she's. She, I don't know what she's up to. I don't know what this game is. But let her go visit you, or you go visit her, and let's get this thing going. Well, to actually tell you the truth and. I emailed this to Will and to Gary yesterday. We actually had a full plan for this weekend. Yeah, and it, and it fell felt... through because my roommate had to work all weekend. Well, you know what? We could have found somebody else. Right. I, would have got, I would have flown Ralph down there to take right. it. Oh, Kendra's on oh, the phone. No, I would not want that annoying asshole with me. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Kendra's on the phone. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Howard. It's Kendra. Yes. Oh. Hey, you know, I would love to fly out and see Eric, but I'm looking at my calendar right now. I'm kind of booked up for about the next three years. <laughs> really? Three yeah. years? I mean, I got taxes to do. I got hair and makeup, and, and I'm going to see a baseball game. So, I, you know, I would love to come see Eric, but maybe I'll come see him when hell freezes over. All right, but you are his girlfriend, right? Oh, that's all, Richard. Richard? Absolutely. No, this is Kendra. I know everything I'm about the fucking mood to put up with your dumb hick ass. I know everything about Eric. I know that he loves to wheel around in his power chair. All and... right, but listen, Kendra, when are you going to go visit him? You say three years. He can't wait. <clears throat> Eric, she's saying three years. You can't put a time on love, Howard. <laughs> I mean, three years is better than nothing, right, Eric? Get off the phone, you damn hick. <laughs> Who's it? All right, Ralph, you're on the phone. <laughs> hey, Eric. Are you doing an Eric impression? Yeah, wait. Here's my new Eric impression, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, wait. Seriously, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to help here, okay? Seriously. Go ahead, quickly. I really do love you, and I think that you should rewrite that note, that Valentine's note. Yeah. And I have a suggestion, okay? Are you listening? All right, but be nice. Hey, no, 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 here. He's in love. Go ahead. Yeah. Roses are red. Yeah. Violets are blue. Mm -hmm. Hey, bitch, come visit me. That's not funny. He's not, not going to call her a bitch. It could be, no. don't be, to just be, You're stop being it. silly. Uh, it's silly. You're silly now. Right, Eric? Yes, he's an idiot. Mm, of course. <laughs> All right, look, Eric, I'm happy. If you're happy, I'm happy, and you say you're happy. I wish you luck with the show. Tonight is another American Idol show for Eric. Another show where we won't be able to hear Eric. Unfortunately, yeah, you can't, you can't hear him on the show, but uh, I would like to hear what he has to say one day. Maybe they'll get him a microphone that works. Two things, or three things before I go. One, two Tuesdays in a row now, I've had bad days because of you. As soon as I've seen her... The day takes a complete 360, and the rest of the day has been perfectly fine. So like God, like people who pray to God, they don't actually get to see him, but they feel better after thinking about him. And also, um, I wanted to say hi to Kevin from West Virginia, who was in her chat room last night with her and I. Right, I have to move on. Right. You have to see your girl with Wait. another guy sitting around the chat room with you? Yeah, I mean, and, and I know there's a third thing you want to say. What is that? I can beat your cock better than anyone. All right, that's three things now. The only person that is on cam is her. Everybody else has to do it by text. But um, there is also one other thing. Am I still on air? Yes. yes. Okay. One other thing, there was a guy in the Middle East, a guy that from the 100th, 101. Oh, uh, right. Eric, they, save this for your show. The guy asked me to say hi to him on air here. All right, quickly, say hello. I just wanted to say hi to um, the guy that was in our room last oh, night named Mike. <laughs> 
All right, Eric, listen, I wish you luck. I'm not trying to upset your day. I'm trying to tell you that you're a good guy. I like you. And if you're interested in a girl who will be there with you, let's let's talk turkey and let's get this thing going. And if not, let's get Kendra flown out to you, and we'll we'll find out if I'm right or you're right. Yeah, That's we right. hope you're right and we're I want, wrong. I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. I'm just suspicious, and you got to admit you're probably a little suspicious too, you know, on some level. Oh, no, I'm not. You're not. Okay. Well, then I stand corrected. All right. Thank you, Eric, and have a great day, hey, and good luck hey, with. Yes. <laughs> the guy is from the hundred and first midair refueling. <laughs> Um, from the Air Force or something. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Eric. And good luck, and, and good luck, and uh, uh, we'll hear your show tonight on jfsc.com. Thank you. Right. That's the Johnny Frado Social Club.com. Yes. See? All right. Dot thank TV. You. Dot TV. Dot TV. Right. Oh, All right. Sorry. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I miss Howard TV stop by. For those of you who are fans of uh, Howard TV, the penny preview has been extended for one day. That's today only. And they have for a penny like a 75-minute show packed with the best highlights of 2007. Best Sibian rides, celebrity interviews, grossest moments, staff fights, outrageous stunts. It's all packed into one big 75-minute show. And a lot of these shows are hosted every month. We have a different Miss Howard TV. Yes. And uh, she wanted to say a quick hello before we get to news, Robin. Here she is. This is... Brenda. Whoa, Brenda. Hello there. Man. What's happening, baby? And you are going to be Miss Howard TV for the month of March? Yes. You are a good-looking woman. Thank you. I bet you have no problem getting men, right? Not really. Not really, I bet. I bet you walk around and there's just a lot of guys who want to go out with you. And, Robin, you'll be interested to know that those are real breasts. How that, do you know that? Because I read the notes. Oh. In fact, she's thinking about a breast reduction, and that's not a good idea. Listen to me. Brenda. Yes. You don't need that. I've heard I've heard you before talk about it, so I was a little bit nervous about bringing it up. No, I mean, some women need it, but you don't. I mean, look at you. Your body looks great, and you're blessed with something that... What, what happens when you take your bra off? Do they hang really low? Yeah. They do. That's what you want. You want to firm them up. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe there's something to that. I don't know. It's hard because nowadays, like, nothing's designed for a natural breast. Everything is like the bikinis are tiny and i can't wear that and it's just tough you don't realize it's a handicap <laughs> oh yeah listen i didn't know yeah you're something else well brenda uh where are you from i am from jersey wow where do we find these girls in jersey wow jersey what do you do for a living um right now i'm a part-time model and i my fiance actually owns a golf course in syracuse when you say part-time model like where, where, where do we see you modeling um, I did a show, um, uh, what is it, a video with Jay-Z and Pharrell, Blue Magic. I was in that. What do you do, you dance? No. I, uh, what I do like you do in, <laughs> What do you do in the video? Um, just pretty much wherever, whatever they need. Like, I was in the Pharrell video, I was driving with Pharrell in his car. I could see why. So, yeah. that's that. And then I've been in a couple magazines and yeah. promotions and trade shows and things. So you never do any, do. now what is this picture I'm looking at? You're, you're almost naked in this one. Jeez. What? Uh, Latino Lovers Collection. Oh, uh, yeah. What That's is that? A magazine that I did. It's called Show. Show. Boy, you look good there. Thank you. Yeah, I'll tell you. That's unbelievable. You go. You you went to girls or just guys? Uh, I went to um, just guys. Just guys? Yeah. Ever make it with a girl? I have, yeah. Yo, you have? Yeah. She did everything to you? No. What'd she do to you? Just made out. Just made out. That's it. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Robin's done that. What? <laughs> <laughs> all you did was make out with a girl? Did you like it at all? I did. You did like it, uh -huh. so you want to go further with it. No, 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 no. You don't it. think so? Just just dudes? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got a boyfriend, you said? I do, yeah. You do, huh? What does he do? He owns a golf course. Oh, that's right. You set up mm -hmm. in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the girl your kid made out with, did she have big boobs like you? Uh, no. No. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I wish you luck as Miss uh, Howard TV. <laughs> Thank you. I hope it works out for you. I'm, I'm so upset. Artie's not here. Yeah, I heard you're a big uh, fan of Artie. <laughs> He'd probably be am. throwing money at you right I now. Am. I was so upset. I was like, no, I was listening to you this morning. I'm like, not again. Well, he's not looking for friends. He's looking for a girlfriend type, you know, or someone will have sex with him for money. Do you, have you ever been offered money for sex? Uh, yeah. Oh, you have? Plenty of times. No yeah. kidding. What's the most? To, I used to work at the casino, so that's um, a lot of money is thrown around. Right. Sometimes. What did you do? Were you a cocktail waitress? I was. And guys would come up and say, look, I'll give you 10 grand. Was it ever um, that much? It was. I had a guy offer me to buy me a business. No kidding. Yeah. And you didn't do it? No. Gee, I would have done it. No. 
What kind of business was he going to buy you? Whatever I wanted to No start. kidding. Mm -hmm. he'll, you, he'll start you off in business. Yes. If you would have sex with him. Yeah. And you didn't even stop and think. You just said no right away. Yeah, he was so gross. He was gross. <laughs> well, big deal. You know, on behalf of all gross guys, sometimes you got to lower your standards. <laughs> So you would have sex with Artie or you wouldn't? I mean, it's just more of like a, you, you like his... I love Artie. <laughs> right. But you wouldn't have sex with him. Mm. Or would you? No. You don't know? Not no. You got a boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> All the guys think she's lying about Artie. Really? Why would she bring that up? What's Artie's last name? I don't know. Lang? <laughs> Lang, right. I'm, I that's right. That's well, then you're not lying. Or... Okay. No, no, that's his last no. name. You're absolutely no. right. Well, uh, Brenda, I wish you luck. Why would she make it up about Artie? I don't know. Every guy, the guys out there think that she doesn't really love Artie. Aww. I paid like five hundred dollars for two tickets to go see him at the Borgata last last year. Last year, mm -hmm. all right. She's so you really do. I am a fan. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're very beautiful. And uh, yeah. what will you be doing on Howard TV? Announcing things and uh, doing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Announcing things and. And you'll be wearing that outfit. They want me to. I have a couple other outfits that I can change into whatever you Perfect. Know, they wanted. Well, you're the right choice. All right. Thanks, Brenda. Thank and you. Good luck with everything. Thank you. That's Brenda, Robin. That is Brenda. I think a lot of guys are going to like that who subscribe to Howard TV. <laughs> That's some girl. Mama Lucian. Right from Jersey. You were very nervous before you met Howard. I was. How was it now that you just... I was painless. <laughs> really, they were, they were sweet to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, what, what's going on with you and Artie? There were there's some uh, I don't know. They there. think I don't... I don't know. You're just... You're... Essentially, you're, you're a fan, right? I am. And you think he's hilarious and you just want him to be there. I they think were, he's awesome. I think it's because most of the Howard TV girls, they, he throws tons of money at them trying to get them to maybe hook up with him. He wouldn't have to throw me any money. <laughs> really? <laughs> Even with the boyfriend and everything. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He, he picked the wrong day to be sick. I know. I was so upset. I was like, oh, no. So if Artie started throwing all these crazy figures at you, like similar to those that you see at, when you worked at Zero. the casino. <laughs> wow. He's going to be taking himself when he sees this. <laughs> Tell him you missed your chat. Zero, Artie. <laughs> All right, good luck today with your shoot. Thank you. All right, thanks, Brenda. Bye-bye.